the three sacred words that blow narcissists to their core. Let's take a moment to reflect on a fundamental aspect of our interactions with others, how we handle differences. It's a simple yet crucial question that speaks volumes about our ability to connect and thrive in a diverse and ever-changing world. Are you someone who effortlessly adapts to discrepancies between yourself and others? Do you approach each encounter with an insatiable curiosity, eager to uncover the beauty in diverse perspectives? Can you seamlessly blend in even with individuals who differ vastly from you? And perhaps most importantly, are you able to wholeheartedly embrace others with all their flaws and eccentricities? If your answer resounds with a confident yes, then this is for you. These remarkable qualities you possess pave the way for profound connections and harmonious relationships. Even amidst the tumultuous storms of life, you remain steadfast and grounded, undeterred by the challenges and disparities that arise. And let me tell you, this kind of attitude and skill set are precisely what our world desperately needs. Now let's delve into the intricate world of narcissists. If you're yearning to explore the depths of their manipulative tactics, I have a special gift in store for you. Behold, Narcissism 101. Early warning signs, escaping the trap, and rebuilding your life. A treasure trove of knowledge, and guess what? It won't cost you a penny. Find the link below in the description box. Now, here's a question for you. When the narcissist in your life enters your thoughts, do you picture someone who embraces open-mindedness and compromise? Someone who seamlessly integrates and harmonizes with those around them. Yeah, not exactly what I envision either. When faced with even the tiniest of disparities, narcissists refuse to engage with a cooperative mindset. Instead, they bulldoze over your thoughts and desires, convinced of their own overwhelming self-importance. Dare to oppose them, and they intensify their resistance, relentless in their pursuit to drain every ounce of your energy. But hold on tight, because here's the secret weapon. Three words that strike fear deep within their egocentric souls. Three words that disrupt their very core. And those words are, let it go. For narcissists, releasing their tightly held ego, their grandiose sense of self-importance, and their iron grip on others is an absolute nightmare. They thrive on control, their opinions must reign supreme, and in their eyes, they tower above all, refusing to relinquish their commanding stance. But hear me out, it's okay to loosen that grip. It's okay to relinquish control and embrace collaboration with those around you. Let's face the truth, a narcissist's inability to let go is a source of great frustration. Their minds swirl with countless thoughts, breeding an intense resistance to surrender and work harmoniously with others. Take, for example, their entrenched belief that their needs always surpass everyone else's. This notion clings to them unabated, refusing to waver. Additionally, they possess an insatiable hunger for the driver's seat, craving total dominion over every facet of their surroundings. It's as if they cannot function without being firmly attached to another person. Furthermore, their unwavering conviction that they possess more knowledge than anyone else becomes an unshakable presence in their psyche. Even when confronted with undeniable falsehoods, they clutch onto their inflated egos with unwavering resolve. It's almost as if they relish the feeling of superiority, using it as a validation of their very existence. Occasionally, a narcissist perceives others' opinions and thoughts as nothing more than an irritant. Rather than valuing these perspectives, they invalidate, dismiss, and entirely disregard anything that challenges their rigid worldview. To them, a successful relationship entails absolute conformity, regardless of how absurd or impractical their expectations may be. The narcissist's inability to handle differences, complexities, and alternative viewpoints is a perpetual struggle. Emotionally inept, they refuse to release themselves from this constricted mindset. Their vision of the world remains binary, with clear winners and losers, and they're adamant about securing the winner's role at any cost. It's as if they're locked in never-ending competition with you, despite the lack of logic. Moreover, when confronted with conflict or disagreement, their instinct is to assign blame to someone else. Unable to cope with the notion that they might be wrong, or that their beliefs could be flawed, they seek out scapegoats to absolve their own insecurities. For the narcissist, 
Anyone different from their narrow mold becomes a perpetual victim responsible for their perceived misery. It's an endless cycle of emotional turmoil, akin to repeatedly crashing into an unyielding brick wall. However, remember this, we need not allow their mindset to shape our own. We have the power to embrace a more balanced, healthier way of thinking. Rather than imposing conformity on every aspect of life, let's embrace and celebrate our differences. Let's listen to one another, learning from the diverse perspectives that make us unique. Instead of assuming hostility in others, let's recognize that we are all fallible human beings trying to navigate this chaotic world together. By doing so, incredible things can occur. Progress can be made as we openly acknowledge our flaws and work towards personal growth. We can maintain respect for one another, even in the face of contrasting viewpoints. The need for blame and victimhood can be relinquished, allowing authentic and supportive relationships to flourish. Now, let's be honest, merely telling a narcissist to let it go is far from simple. These individuals are some of the most self-centered and self-important beings you will ever encounter. They relentlessly cling to control with unwavering tenacity. However, their egotism is only the tip of the iceberg. Deep-rooted insecurities drive narcissistic behavior. They struggle to manage their own emotions and are suspicious of anyone attempting to lend a helping hand. Convinced of their infallibility, they perceive challenges as personal attacks. When confronting their desire for control, it's akin to provoking a hornet's nest. They fiercely retaliate, building impenetrable walls while internal chaos engulfs them. They refuse to relinquish their fabricated self-image, even at the cost of missing out on transformative and meaningful experiences. So, what can be done? How do we make any headway with these individuals? We must acknowledge that it's not about winning or losing, being right or wrong. It's about fostering egalitarian and genuine relationships, ones where collective learning and growth are mutually valued. We must prove our trustworthiness, demonstrating our good intentions. However, it may take time for the narcissist to lower their guard and truly let go. It's time to flip the script and release ourselves from the futile act of pleading with narcissists to let it go. Instead, let us redirect our focus inward and fervently declare, let it go. These individuals are mired in their self-created illusions, staunchly convinced of their superior maturity. No matter how exhaustively we argue or attempt to reason with them, it's akin to conversing with an immovable brick wall. But here's a game changer. We don't have to play by their rules. We need not allow their self-importance to dictate our every step. We can ground ourselves in reality, exuding confidence in our true selves and unwavering values. Liberating ourselves from the need for their approval or validation is not only acceptable but crucial. We already recognize our own worth. Of course, if we require assistance along this transformative journey, seeking therapy is a wise option. Check the description box of this video for several recommendations that may prove invaluable. So let's embark on this empowering endeavor. Let go of the futile desire to control or change the narcissists in our lives. Instead, let us prioritize our own well-being and growth, trusting that the right individuals will enter our lives organically at the opportune moment. And let us reiterate once more. Let it go. These self-absorbed individuals foster an unwavering attachment to everything they deem theirs, even if it harms themselves or others in the process. Nevertheless, here's a revelation. We are not bound by their rules. We possess the agency to liberate ourselves from their delusions and manipulations, allowing us to lead lives detached from their turbulent orbit. We can choose to release anything detrimental or incongruent with our highest good. In doing so, we reclaim stability and become unwavering individuals, impervious to their dramatic narratives. The best part, by this conscious act of emancipation, we embark on a path paved with peace. We liberate ourselves to craft lives on our terms, uncumbered by the burdens and commotion of narcissistic relationships. So let's seize this opportunity. Let's relinquish anything inhibiting our growth and resolve to embrace the finest version of ourselves. It may not be an effortless undertaking, but the rewards are immeasurable. Until we meet again, let the healing commence.